Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I was just having a look. I think what we should probably do with our new, um... Fucking heirlooms. Is to upgrade the furnace to cheapen this. Not in a, you know, not in a sense of this is the worst. Not, not in a quality sense, but literally in a fiscal way. Um, because we could. But it means that in future, when we want to upgrade all of these heroes here... We're not going to be spending the entirety of our money to do so. But we should probably think about upgrading some of these. Definitely Brian. In fact, I'm going to spend money on both of Brian's things right now. Because it turns out that actually that's a really good unit. With bad humours. Maybe we should spend... Oh, that was all our money. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a mistake. Uh, okay. We just spent all our money by accident. So now we need to do a short mission. Oh look, another short fucking apprentice mission. We might as well get some more money in. Try and get enough money to send people to the cove without dying completely. Unfortunately, all the good people have gone. So, actually I don't like that anymore. Maybe the wield? A medium apprentice mission. We could just go and fight this. I mean, it tends to be not too far between... The entrance and the the boss. Nah. We just spent all our money on Brian, so maybe we just take Brian. Uh, bad humours is obviously not great, but 8, 45 max HP is still a lot, so, you know, it is what it is. Mr. Steve. We could have a sort of a double tank thing going on, but Mr. Steve's very stressed out, so maybe that's not the greatest of ideas. Maybe we should have double DPS and then... Bagel. A dysfunctional family. I'm not quite sure where these names come from, but okie dokie. Uh, right, you're better from basically that position. You can't do shit from the front except Shadow Fade. I like how it's not a preferred position at all. Oh, we don't have Shadow Fade switched on, so we want to take... we do something like this. Uh, where are we going? This is the Warrens. Okay, so we will turn off Poison Darts and turn on Flashing Daggers. So now you can lunge... Flashing daggers, and then shadow fade back to the third position. Bagel is probably going to have to stay at the back in order to be able to weird reconstruct. Also fine. And basically, the back is the perfect position, which means Penelope here might not be a great unit to take, because trying to juggle two units that move a lot is actually pretty difficult. Unfortunately, our dysfunctional family is no longer going to be the order of the day. Maybe we bring Psycho instead of Mr. Steve. Or Marie. Marie's not too great in the second position either, but when we lunge with Erasmus and then Shadow Fade back, Marie will be in exactly the right place. So that's an option. There's also Megistos who can just stay there, but then can't really do much from the third position except for all the buffs. Uh, I'm tempted to take Megistos. Do I want to take Megistos to the cove? That's the question. I think the answer is yes. So we'll do this uh, medium veteran mission here. Uh, have we got enough money? I hope so. Doesn't tell you if you mouse over what it's going to be. There's also this one, which is probably slightly easier. But we always go to the ruins. We're always chickening out. Worst case, we run away, right? And, yeah, it's a pretty bad case. But still. You can't iron swan from the front, but you can do both of yours from... All right. Let's take Doug. We haven't seen Doug for a while. Where did Tim go? Tim's also up there. Nearly at level 5. So again, trying to keep these people in range of the bosses that we need to beat. Uh, trinkets. Let's have a look. Hellion. Have you got the bleed? You've got two bleeds. Which, you've also got Wicked Hack. But We have enough self-debuffs. I think we should probably swap that for that. Don't forget Brian's going to be doing a lot of damage up front anyway. Still don't have Hugh. Which is a shame. This is a, a two unit debuff anyway, so having a second one. I mean, that's basically two stuns, which is pretty nice, but. Having enough damage up front is probably a good idea at this stage, so we'll bring out our bleed skill chance. I think we need an accuracy one as well. Yes. We're going to be keeping our torch up. More heals received. Probably useful. Not in position one, so we won't be taking that one this time. 
You don't have any blight skills. So what do we want? Just protection, maybe? Below. Below is the wrong way. More, more heals received. I mean, we could just let Brian take all the damage and hope that this plus the uh, plus a good roll will make everything win. Uh, what else do you do? You basically just hit hard and then do um do buffs to people. So yeah, possibly damage versus human or beast. Yeah, I'll take this. Less dodge is fine because you're gonna be healed a lot anyway. You are someone who may have special. Pardon me? Where is our grave robber trinkets? Here we go. More dodge is useful. Marty, are you taking ranged skills? Flashing daggers? Yes. So we'll give you this. More stress damage we can probably cope with. Again, I haven't put much time into actually looking at the, the skills that they have for camping, which is... <sighs> I need to. I recognise I need to. But. I, can, I don't have the money. So I haven't. The dodge could be good. The accuracy could be good. We've got three of those. Maybe we should sell one. In fact, I think I will. It's only 750 gold, but it gives us something to provision with. Um, I think versus human is fine. We don't have an unholy equivalent. Which I really would like to find, but I've never seen one. Because if we had someone doing damage versus human, someone doing damage versus unholy, which we could have taken Ed or someone like that who sort of has that built in. Um, but it is what it is. And then we'll do the usual don't hurt everybody. But I think I'm just going to take the simple chirurgeon's charm rather than the stressy out one because we're likely to get a lot of stress anyway. Uh, you are not... You've got a fear of unholy, which could be a problem. But no one else is necessarily in a horrible position, so I think we're going to just deal with it. Oh, these are our quest thingies. So these will disappear as we go along, which is pretty nice. And it does mean that our mission could be cut short at any time. Short at any time, meaning that we then have the option to just leave. Uh, which I will be happy with. We needed a lot of food in the previous episode, so I'm going to actually take a bit more than I usually do. Uh, honestly, I'd rather take the the bleed thingies. I'm just going to spend all the money. Fuck it. Hopefully we come back with more than we left with. Um, <laughs> But this is kind of scary. Uh, we've got ourselves in a position where we've had to spend so much money on people that we haven't got any money left. And I did upgrade Brian very quickly and went, oh shit, actually that cost a lot more than I anticipated. Uh, which is not, not what I wanted to do, but... Whoops, I guess. So now we have to deal with that. Well, I do. So I'm going to, by hopefully collecting... Oh, I was expecting a trap as well. Collecting more Brian cash than... Such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Um, collecting more cash than we spend <laughs> on each journey, to be fair. But uh, it doesn't look too likely. A scout. A scout is good. Ah, secret door. Did we bring a thing? We did not. Maybe we will find a um, key on the way. We've got plenty of opportunity to do so. None of this is a quest location, so we might as well head to that one. Hope for some more scouting on the way. We can come back to this if we feel it necessary to do so. You're probably the best. 120. Very much so. Good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Leave. <laughs> Leave. I pressed W. I don't know why. I don't, uh, don't, don't question it. It happened. Move on. Right, there's a battle on the way, which could be horrible. Don't touch that. I'm just going to keep walking along saying don't touch that. That seems to be the way I play this game. Okay, we can deal with this. We don't have the Wicked Hack, which is a shame. Uh, sorry, we don't have Iron Swan available right now, which is not ideal. But we can lunge at this and maybe kill it. Not quite, but very good roll. If it bleeds... We do have Wicked Hack. It's not what I meant, though. If it bleeds, we'll just basically kill the stress-dealing unit. So I'm going to... Uh, unless it missed. There was a strong chance that that missed. Uh, I forgot about this, though. 
That's okay. Kind of want Brian to go first. Right, that's something I hadn't considered. <laughs> which is that Brian will have to go first. In order to make Erasmus's everything actually worthwhile. These two can swap around, but they can't move back. Why don't you start healing straight away? Get your bad rolls out. Thank you. Uh, so... Ah, you can do this from here, though. So you're okay. So it's really just Brian needs to happen before... Before Martinez here. So that Brian can actually do something other than move. Although, to be fair, if we keep these two in this order... It's still going to be wrong. That's more like it. Thanks for pulling that one out of the bag. Appreciate that. Here we go. Chop. Their formation is broken. That's what we like Maintain to see. The offensive. Maybe we should start Erasmus at the back so that when he moves forward. Um all we can do here is shadow. When he moves forward, he ends up in the position. He was just in that's Martinez, you see, I've done it again. Raz and Marty are the same person. And any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Yeah, so if we start Marty at the back, he will lunge to this position rather than the horrible position where no one can do anything. That's a bit of an unexpected critical hit there. But uh, it's not the worst thing. We have a knockback which clears all corpses, which is actually really good. We can stress heal ourselves, and we can just chop the shit out of this, which will basically kill it because it has... Oh, no bleed. Okay. I wonder if in this setup we want to be thinking about bringing um, breakthrough so that um, Doug here ends up at the front irrespective of what everybody else does. So if we move back here, you can still weird reconstruct from here and then you'll end up here when you lunge which means you can do something and you can remain continuing to do something. Although we want you at the front mostly because you've got Iron Swan and bleed out. Which is why I'm thinking maybe we should unlock Breakthrough so that you can start in the second position and then if we need you to, you can get to the front and start Iron Swanning. So there should be a quest location nearby. Maybe the next room. I've already forgotten where we are. This looks like it. Object of Beast Man Worship. Okie dokie. Well... No, no more Beastman worship. I don't know. That doesn't seem like the, the worst thing to be worshipping. Hold up. No, no, no. Have you finished? Oh, we're still not trapped, did we? No, you're bleeding. No, no, just four damage. Trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Hey, you don't know that trap maker's not watching right now. No scouting, so we're not sure about quest items just now. Uh, we didn't bring any bandages. Oh, we did. We could make use of this. We did have bandages to remove those um with loot are often low on supplies. To remove those bleeds if you wanted to, but honestly I think using a bandage except for something like in the previous episode where um, Erasmus, really Erasmus this time, was bleeding in between fights so we couldn't heal him. Actually using bandages to stop bleed is mostly valuable in a fight because it can considerably curtail the amount of damage that you take during the fight and allow your healer to keep up with you or in fact possibly ignore you and keep up with somebody else. But between rooms you can generally just tank it. Well, again it kind of depends on how much of the bleed it is. In this place, we haven't suffered too huge of a bleed damage, so it's been two or three per round. I really need to slow you down, actually, which is ironic, because normally I want to uh, speed you up. 18 is a good roll, but not the best roll. If it bleeds, we'll finish the job. And then when we um, shadow fade with Erasmus, with Martinus, heavens above. Luckily, we brought a grave robber. Knows how to cure diseases because presumably they keep getting diseases from their chosen profession. A crit. Stun. 
Tis a stun. That's the problem. I'll chop you in revenge. You missed, you jabroni. The damage took against human, though. Good idea. Most things here are human. That's a beast, but whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm happy with if it bleeds being where it is. Wow, okay, yes. Wasn't expecting that, but... Uh, I had no plan. It's not like I was relying on any particular sequence of events. You... Yeah. Seven is probably fine. Yep, you did get a bleed, though, so that seems to be happening more often, more recently. You've only got a three-quarters chance to hit, which is no wonder that you keep missing. But a 10% chance to crit, I was about to mention, and there it is, uh, showing itself. I wanted to get a bleed on that. I know this one has another go. That was lucky. Um, probably should have just killed that, but I felt... I had one of those don't do an overkill moments, and obviously the correct answer is make sure it's dead, not worry about by how much it's dead, but it, it's done. I don't really need uh, Doug there to be any further forward, so... I'm happy to let Erasmus keep doing damage from this position. In other fights, we might want to move Erasmus to the back again, but it is not this fight. Uh, 32, 20, 30, 19. Might just heal yourself, to be fair. Keeping yourself alive is probably quite important. Ah, well, that's a problem. Of course, this can't hit that, which is actually uh, not ideal. Ouch. See, now you've got a double stacked up bleed, so... Probably worth... Wow, okay. Giving you the bandage at this point. But... Thank you for all of that. Now you can have a bandage. Uh, someone else can open this. You're tanky. You open it. Hooray! I'm so pleased. Okie dokie. A scout is good too. Quest. No. Curio. Curio. No thing here. None of this is a quest item, so... I guess we just keep going. I want to make sure that Erasmus is in the right position. Martinez. Seriously, you guys. Everyone else I can remember the name of, but not Raz and Marty. No. These two are interchangeable and indistinguishable. Oh, shit. The surprise, right. This means I'm going to use this opportunity to move Doug to the front. I'm going to try to, anyway. Because obviously it can't, he can't if it bleeds from here. Uh, definitely heal you. No bleed. No bleed. Maybe we prot ourselves or reduce the damage on this. Maybe. I think we prot ourselves. And we know that this one's just going to summon. not the worst thing right now. So now you're going to do... I mean, really, I want to lay down all the smack on this. Which is Eldritch, not... Oh, it's human as well, but you haven't got the human thing. You have. Oh, you have. Yes, okay, good. Wait, does that mean you have... Oh, you both do. Oh, that was clever of me. Yeah, just do extra damage versus human. Which kind of preempted this fight, but not specifically. We can remove dodge from it, which it has some of. It does mark it as well, which means that this attack here will do more damage. And we can do it from the third position, so we would probably benefit most from marking this unit. The mark happened, the deep dodge buff. The dodge debuff didn't. You're getting close to stressy, but we can um, camp. Which we may do in after this battle here. So... I wish I had Hugh at this stage. That's got a bleed attack. That's got the buffs. Less damage, less accuracy on two units is possible outcome. Or... A crit could kill it, but then we could also miss. We could also miss on this. A bigger debuff on both of these might be... Uh, a decent idea, and it did work. 
Oh, we can, if it bleeds this, oh, we can't. I mean, it probably doesn't bleed. It does to some extent. I think we just move. Um, having Brian in that position is fine. Now, having Doug in that position may not be so great, but at least we resisted the bleed. That's really good. Yes, that's what we like to see. So now we can throw and dagger this. That was amazing. That was like a third of its health. That was literally a third of its health it's within operational parameters. Now we can Iron Swan it too. Another 15. So this is going down quick, but these things seem to start critting really hard. Don't know if that's just confirmation bias. As soon as that thing dies, those things get really good. Maybe they get a buff, or maybe it's just bad timing. But yeah, hit yourself. Whenever that does that, I'm like, oh no, here we go. That's just my entire turn undone. A bad crit there, but we have enough HP to tank it. Dodge. Yes. Bit of stress is probably going to be okay because we can camp soon. So now we start thinking about just doing a lot of damage. 31. Perfect. Ah, we can't Iron Swan anymore. That was a bit of a problem. <laughs> Not supposed to actually kill it. Okay, remember for the future. Two. Well, we're back on that roll. Good thing you resisted the bleed, because that would have been shit. Heal yourself again. Don't worry about that. I think we have a knockback, actually. I really should have used that now I think about it. That was uh, very much one of those, in hindsight... Oh, hindsight is 50-50, you know what I'm saying? I'm really glad you dodged that. We dodged that in the last episode as well. Right, let's try the knockback, then. This one. Leave. Good. Uh, Just that one. Okay, we'll wicked hack this and it should kill it. Oh, it didn't. I, I tried to tempt the dice roll into saving face, but it, it wasn't to be. That was a very good bleed resist, actually, considering that you... Uh... Oh, you have high bleed resist. You have low chance. Never mind. Um... As long as it hits, it does some damage. There's our kill plus. That is over. We should probably keep healing. Uh, you still got a go. So I think I want to heal this unit. That's a good heal. Because Brian can A... Well, he can de-stress himself, but he can give himself prop. Not quite enough damage there. You're going to heal that. That's okay. I decided to kill you first and then... This unit will dodge. dodge. This unit will come a cropper of my uh, amazing talents later on. Um, I think it's okay because this won't leave a corpse. So we don't need to clear that corpse. Um, which means... Oh dear. I don't really want to move you forward. What can you do in the second position? Wicked hack, which is good enough, I think. So I will lunge at this. Which could crit and kill it, which is what I'm thinking. Oh, that was really bad. I'll just heal it again. Okay, then. Well, that was a waste of a turn. And then you get headhunted and die. Well, please uh, feel free to heal the shit out of... of Marty right now. Big heal. Go. <laughs> you what, mate? Fucking die, will you? Now we're in a horrible position because I can't get anyone to be where I want them to be. Hopefully Marty goes here. I did bring another bandage. This is probably the right time to do so. Get Brian up front. Definitely should bring Breakthrough if you're going to bring a Grave Robber and a Hellion at the same time. Learning process. Everything's a learning process. As long as we don't die... Even if we do die, even if somebody dies, I should say, that's better. Um, we'll still know, we'll still have gained something. And we'll have a gap in our roster to, you know, bring in the new player. Can you please stop bleeding my units? I didn't bring enough bandages. Right, now I just want to, <laughs> I want to make sure Bagel gets a go so we can do that heal again. Yes! Oh! Pulls it out of the bag. Back of the net. That's why we signed him on. And it was stunned and it's dead. Wow. I mean, that's very valuable. 
but now we haven't got any uh, bandages left. So. There is another battle coming up as well. I'm going to do this. I understand that this means that Brian will be in the wrong place for a turn, so actually, maybe I won't do that. I was going to say that's okay, then I thought about it and realised that was not okay. I think this is tankable. Yeah, two damage for another round. Ooh, perfect timing. Thank you so much. Thank you indeed. This is a probably a doable battle, and they're surprised, which is great. So I'm actually just going to not move Martinez here. Executed My headphones are going weird. There we go. So that was great. <laughs> I was concerned about my headphones making weird noises in my ears, but in fact we just wasted at least one of these jokers, so that also really helped. Um, I think we just probably wicked hack. It's got a higher accuracy, I believe. Oh, same accuracy, but... I just want... It's going back. <laughs> it's Another done. Abomination cleansed from our lands. We don't have any actual damage on Bagel here. So I think we start applying... Crappy heals with a bleed. Wow. I suppose the leopards, of course, have a low bleed resist in the first place. 40% actually. What the hell's wrong with you? And this has a bleed chance of 69%. So how are you bleeding so much? I don't know. Back to the pit. Well, that's fine. Only one of them gets a turn. Which missed. So good on you, mate. Uh, sure. Another one falls. Another one rides the bus. Um. This momentum. Push on to the task's <laughs> end. Like I would like the pictures mostly. Me, me. And we're gonna camp now, I think. But unfortunately, we can't camp and then collect the stuff. We have to throw it away, even though we're gonna be in the same room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of. Oh, that's a thousand gold right there. And that's not, so let's get rid of that. Close that. Probably not going to touch that. Make sure you're in position for the next fight, which may be in the middle of the night. And we will camp. Good a job. Spark without kindling. This seems like a good a idea. Without hope. I mean, I'm wondering whether we need these shovels right now. I did bring a lot. Uh, I was probably in cove mode, thinking not only are there going to be things to to shovel away, but also things to open. So. This is pretty decent. First of all, we probably want to get rid of a disease. Probably, possibly that one. Does anybody else have a disease? You do. That's okay. So we'll get rid of... You can get rid of your own disease. I think it does it at the same time. So we'll do this. Good. I love how... Something that takes a week and a thousand gold takes one box of snuff. <laughs> well, I mean, just supply the sanitarium with snuff and apparently that just deals with everything anyway. Everyone gets seven stress, but we don't get an ambush. You take 20% HP damage to reduce everyone's stress. Or we could just pep talk people. Scout chance is okay, but not necessarily too important. Why don't I do this? And then this will also remove the bleed, which is not too much of a bleed, but... You know, there you go. Sorted. Everyone gets five stress and you lose all your stress, but you don't have any stress, so you don't need to do that. What well, have we got? Five left. You can encourage one person for a two time cost. You can... I don't really want to do that. I mean, this is really good. And it costs three time. So I'm thinking that might be the right one to do. Because then you get a decent amount of crit for four whole combats. And then we have two left where you can encourage... 35, 33. Probably you, because you seem to be taking more stress than other people. Although you do... In fact, I think I intentionally didn't bring the plus stress damage one to you. Which has worked out so far, so... Good. So, there you are. So, suck it. Stop talking. In radiance, may we Good. No, victory. no uh, ambush. Good to have no ambush. Now, there could be a quest item here or here. 
Uh, but I'm going to go on the assumption that they're more likely to be in rooms, which may be completely unfounded and nonsense, but... Hmm, let's see what's in here. That's why we bring these, right? Oh, a buff. More damage. <laughs> Maybe I should have got someone else to do that. Uh, please don't touch that. And we will shovel this. I don't know what that does. It could be... It looks like it's stressy because it has a stress... Um, stress symbol as its motif. But it could be the opposite because it also has the light symbol as its motif. So it could just be the darkest dungeon symbol. But again, not going to risk it. Probably won't touch that. I'd like to keep our bandage available. That pack is empty. There's a Curio we're not touching in that room we camped in. I didn't crack a torch before we came in here. Turns out to have been okay. So the quest items have got to be somewhere, but God knows where. I'm mildly working on the assumption that there's one in this room. Just because that would be really awkward and annoying. You've just had an entire camp. I suppose that was breakfast then. How many of these have we got left? Three. That should be enough. No. <laughs> and we've got to deal with this swine tour. Okay. I wonder. You're human and beast. Got a lot of HP. But I think we can... I think we can deal with that. This seems like a good start. Because you've got 22 HP, so that could do half of it. It didn't. But it could have. The debuffs are nice as well. Less bleed resist, so we can actually do this. Uh, we want to kill the stress and... I mean, this thing can do stuns and stuff, which is bad. Yes. <laughs> if we can remove the number of units that are actually on the field... Sorry, reduce. Reduce the number of units that are on the field. But you're not going to get a second ghost. So I'm not going to do anything with you. Uh, yeah, then, obviously few units, less damage. They both dodged fucking tentacles from the abyss. Good amount of damage. Bringing it down, I mean, it's happening in stages. <laughs> you just gotta hope for the best, right? Um, have you got a high dodge? No, high prop. You've got high dodge. But I'm still gonna mark... I'll mark this unit. Then maybe uh, uh, Martinez can kill it with one thrown dagger. Perfect. Exactly went down to plan. You're going to die anyway. And you can, if it bleeds this, because it's two units wide and therefore occupies the third spot. That's dead. No corpse. Now everything is in range. That went really well. Just wait, I suppose. Boros. So that's a move. Possibly a stun. Yes, it is a stun, but you've already had your turn this turn. You can if it bleeds from the back, so I think we try and lunge now. Uh, do we even want you to be in the second position, to be fair? I think it's okay. But we could, if we wanted to, stun this now. We don't need him to, uh, to heal anybody, which is a surprise. Less damage might be worthwhile. Less dodge, maybe. I don't think we need to worry about marking it at this stage. Ow. How did you hit those two and not that one? Never mind. <laughs> Just don't, don't question it. It happened. Move on. You dead now? Six. Yes. Uh, so, like, who cares, right? Still not actually dead. <laughs> Please. Ah, this is a good opportunity to do something like um, stress healing. If we don't have to put Brian in to recover from stress at the end of the, the end of the go, then that seems better. Five HP and no bleed. Then you have okay, I'm glad that we all got to go there. I'm not quite sure what situations contrived to allow that to happen, but that is what happened, and I'm pleased a bit. This is 250. I'm okay with not taking the 250 gold, although I'm kind of considering getting rid of those shovels. Uh, so, presumably, the rest of the quest items are on these. <laughs> They're entirely here, so if we've gone left instead of right, although we were enticed by an early quest item in that direction. 
Don't touch that. I suspect they don't touch anything that you can just... That don't do anything. Well, maybe. I don't know what happens if they interact with that without giving you the opportunity to... You know, Finding the choose stuff is only how. The first test. Now it must be carried home. Do you got any holy water? You don't. That was our last torch, so hopefully we get a scout here and we know which direction to go. We did! Wow, okay. I mean, thanks. Curio trap. Uh, excuse me? Where is my final quest item? It's there! How did I walk straight past it? Excuse me? Did I walk straight past it? I did! I was talking about the thing and everyone on the comments was going, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Put the pick on the quest item. And I was going, no, I'm not interacting with that. It looks like it's going to be... Um, well. <laughs> well, just, uh, just go this way. Brian? No. Bagel. You're going in for stress anyway. Take that. Okay, good. Just in case it was horribly perturbing. The worst that could happen is we end up with a quirk. Oh, what is this? I'm surprised. So, I don't know how we, uh... <laughs> Don't know how we managed that, but okay. Probably should have moved Marty there before. I got a little bit complacent, assuming that there wouldn't be any um, anything to worry about, I suppose. That'll be our kill plus straight away. That's really, really good. Um, less damage, less dodge. Let's have some less dodge on this unit. We don't really have anyone that can hit it at this stage, which is a shame, but we can knock back one of these, try and get it behind that. Yeah, now it's in the second position, which is really valuable, really useful. Everything's in range of at least somebody now, so we can deal with this. But where it hurts, nowhere. Now you're at the front, rup row. No worries. Say good eye, good eye, and she'll be alright. That's damage versus marked, which is really annoying because our marked unit is now uh, <laughs> not in range. Um, 5 to 10, 5 to 10. I mean, if we're going to try and roll 10, we might as well try and roll 10 on this one. 7. Wouldn't have killed either of them, so that's also fine. Tiny bit of stress on Brian here. We could use Brian's self de stress thingy to remove that, or we could just sort of not being an option too. It does bleed, it's going to die. Excellent. I don't know if it's necessary. Just continue to de-dodge this thing. It will remain marked, but we can't actually hit anything with a mark with a mark-based attack, so I mean, we just smash it. Done. <laughs> Saw it. Anarchy. I'm pretty sure you just said anarchy. Well, that fight went well, considering that we didn't expect it, uh, and somehow we surprised them. So These nightmarish I'll take it. Can be felled. They let's, can uh, be beaten. let's nip back to the accidentally avoided quest item, which I thought was gonna be the worst thing in the world. We didn't get a key after all that, so. There's no point going back to the secret room. A handsome reward. Decent. For a task well performed. I found some money in a rack full of knives. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and finish our job and sweep under the rug the fact that we walked right past this thing without noticing what it was. And we're done. And we'll leave. Let's see how we did. Mostly that was there to get cash, which was six grand at least, well six and three quarters. Just on that stuff. Book of Holiness. Less damage. Less damage. Less. Interesting. Okay. Seven thousand there. So that's a lot of thousand. What have you all got? That's a problem. I know I was just saying that that's not a problem. In this specific situation, it is a problem because we have at least one person who's already got this. So it's going to get in the way a lot more. That's pretty good. That's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Okay. That's really good, though. And less stress damage in general is also nice. So maybe we should start looking at getting rid of some of these quirks, although 
Honestly, <laughs> we can't afford it. I mean, we, we had, what, 100 gold before we went out on that mission? Wish the uh, ancestor would stop talking over the top of me. Lethargy on D. Ah, that's okay. So let's have a look at maybe treating one of these. We could get rid of both of these at the same time, which is probably something we want to try and do. 800 is okay. I'm more concerned about getting spotted fever out of the way than uh, bulimic, but if bulimic goes as well, then you definitely need to get rid of this because you are already in a bad way. You're not well at all. That would be why. Let's have a look at stress. Bagel is stressed as all hell. It's going to be expensive. Hopefully this does not get him stuck in a <laughs> meditation only situation. Uh, Mr. Steve is pretty stressy as well. What's your... We'll only meditate. So it's a good thing we've opened both of these up. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Where does the gyrus go? Excuse me. Sajaris has gone on a personal vision quest. Personal vision quest. Money penny. To res to achieve enlightenment. Because he meditated. So he went to a fucking meditation sanctum. And now he's pissed off. He's gone on a sabbatical. Well now what do we do? We're not going to be able to take him on any uh, money making trips. Which again we need to do. Because we just spent half of our money undoing the value of the previous... Mission, which is actually reasonably common and quite annoying. Anything in here that we want more than what we've got? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> again, I don't think we can afford... We might be able to afford the provisioning for the Cove boss. Now I think about it. And we should do it in order to level up some of our level 2 people. In fact, where have all our level 2 people gone? Oh. Sort by level, and then we'll find them. There we go. Holmes is in for... Excuse me, why have you not finished? Whatever. We do have... Zeki available. Third position? Fine. We have Marie available. Oh, prefers third position. Fair enough. Um, didn't mean to do that. Zeki. Now, who do we want to take as well? I think it's going to have to be a full-on... Level 2... Job. We probably don't want to take Viz because of the stress induced. Also, we can't because we've taken a holy unit. So, I guess Megistos will have to be our tank, and then Raikuda can be the DPS up following up that. Because this tank can move into either two positions, which is great, because then Raikuda can do the thrust forward and dance back job that we've been uh, getting on well with in the past. But I think in this situation, it means we don't really have to unlock anything that we. And any skills that we don't currently have unlocked, which means we don't need to spend the money. Which means we will come back with more money, but also, just in general, we won't have to worry too much. I think possibly we should upgrade people's armor. I don't think this helps your heal. So, that's 1400. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1400. 514s is a lot. <laughs> it's 5. Thousand plus four fives is twenty seven thousand. That's gonna be all of our money again, but we will have enough afterwards to provision. So that's very tempting, but I think we'll make that decision in the next episode. Uh, that's the end of this episode. I think it went quite well. We did make a few misplays, but we've managed to beat several of those collectors now, which is pretty good because they've turned out to be historically very difficult. I think we've run away from one or two. Indeed. Uh, no one's died since uh, last Holmesy died. So that's one, two, three. That's five people died so far. Oh well. We've had five people die, but nevertheless people keep turning up on the stagecoach. Yep, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.